The possible space of designs that a synthetic biologist might want to create is so far beyond what's experimentally tractable that you have to have computational science approaches to help us get to solutions. If we want to make a molecule, we have to identify the five or six enzymes that are involved in turning a really simple molecule into something that we ultimately want. And there might be millions of ways of assembling those enzymes. It's simple to manipulate. You just have different letters, or you change what the order of the letters are. But then that opens up this enormous world of engineering possibilities of what can you do with proteins and what structures can you make. There's a lot of buzzwords right now, machine learning, artificial intelligence. I actually think of it more as statistical learning, which is about can you use statistics to determine what type of model is most appropriate. A lot of the work we do is to use experimental data to train models on how cells will behave, and then we can use those models to simulate in advance how a cell might behave under certain conditions. We'll create that structure on the computer and then figure out what the right sequence is to make that structure. Once we have the sequences that we want, we order synthetic DNA from companies that say, oh, you want this sequence, we'll send you that DNA. And then we take that DNA and we put it into cells and those cells spit out the proteins that we wanted them to make. 